Um, but yeah. Oh, Final Fantasy fourteen. He's obsessed. Stop that, you fool. Yeah, he is going to go to Wario. Snake Eyes playing Palutena. Uh, Tri-State Classic. Who doesn't hate Palutena and Tri-State? Or love Palutena. It depends. Uh, because there, there's no in-between for Palutena in this region. But yeah. As we are ready to go into this first match. Matt putting on his music. Snake Eyes waiting patiently for Matt to finish. Let's take a sip. Delicious. Anyway. Thank you, Funk. Um, all right, put put the headphones on, Matt. There you go. What what a good lad. And here we go into the game number one. Palutena Warrior. Interesting. I've never seen this. Actually, I lied. I've seen this. Um, but here we are. Am I supposed to be getting game audio or? Okay. Um. I'll continue in here. Um, so yeah, Matt's, this is like his week one Wario. He picked it up during the last day of Glitch because several people, uh, notably Hangman, told him to do it and then everyone else encouraged him to continue doing it. So we'll see if it's ready here against Snake Eyes who has been playing Palutena. All right, Matt's able to get off the ledge there, but Snake Eyes able to just get grabbed. I lied And what I was going to say. All right, ooh, gets in there, trying to get the fair there. Just slaps him. All right, able to block the explosive flame. Keeping Snake Eyes at the ledge, very important. Ooh, and forcing Snake Eyes to go a little too low, and Snake Eyes is just gonna eat that SD. Tries to get the explosive flame, unable to. Matt's able to get back on stage, but gets put back off, but ooh, he's back. Ooh, getting around that explosive flame. Explosive Flame, very good tool at uh, controlling the offstage game, forcing players to go in particular directions. Not doing a very good job at keeping out of Palutena's uh, normal range. Uh, not really getting hit by too much, but that Nair, still not quite enough. Wario is a big boy. Ooh! Jump off up beam, that's crazy. Oh, and nah, never mind. But he, he was able to put on quite a bit of extra credit there as they jockey back and forth. Ooh, gets jabbed, and then a rapid jab. And Matt trying to get the back air. And, and, ooh, comes off with the Nair. Ooh, gets the grab. Damage, ooh, doesn't get the up air. Good job from Snake Eyes getting back down to the ground. Now getting the up air. This is not where you want to be against Palutena. Ooh, just throws out the random F smash. Ooh, it's put, okay, he's back. Ooh, gets around the explosive flame, able to get the dash attack. He's got Waft online. He's going to save that, though, most likely, unless he has to absolutely use it. All right, he's back. Down throw back air. Ooh, he's living. Thick boy. Oh, not. Nah. He gets hit by the explosive flame. All right. Ooh, just comes down with the back air. Just poking at that ledge. Ooh, gets the up smash after blocking. The Nair, like I say, just block. What are they going to do afterwards? They're negative. Ooh. All right. Big damage coming here from Snake Eyes. Doesn't get the other, doesn't get the last fair. All right, down throw, gets the back air off of a missed tech by Matt. Up smashes the bike, not able to connect with it. Down air. Ooh. All right. He's going to have to, well, I'm not going to say he has to. Wario does, definitely does have the tools to win in other ways. Not relying on Waft, though, is possible, but he does have it online. Once again, blocking the explosive flame. Grab, back throw, puts him off stage. Throws out the explosive flame once again. Down tilting at the ledge to apply pressure. Ooh, the up tilt, and then the confirm, and Matt's going to take that game. Look at his eyes. My man was like, I did it. I did the confirm that I practiced for two hours in a hotel room at Glitch. I am so good. I'm just going to make fun of Matt. I'm sorry. He's my son. I'm allowed to do that. Stop laughing at me, Funk. I'm allowed to make fun of him. He makes fun of me. We play Ken Hero in doubles. I don't play Ken in doubles. He doesn't play Hero. My guy. Our team name is Hocus Pocus. Time to Tatsu and focus. 
not allowed to make fun of him. We have such a dumb doubles name. <laughs> it's sick though. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run this back. I, I'm not sure if they went back to PS2. Life on the game, but All right. And we're, here we go in the game number two. Ooh, I like that transition. I've never seen that game before. All right, Battlefield. This is a good pick from Snake Eyes. But Warrior does okay on this stage. He's able to extend a little bit off of those bottom platforms. Ooh, gets forward tilted. Don't, don't want to be in, in a... I'm losing my words. I am sorry. It's been a long day for me. You all didn't have to deal with a sassy British hairdresser all day. That's my life right now. I love it, though. Anyway, enough about me. It's about these players playing this video game that I am not playing right now. The Snake Eyes putting on a lot of damage here. Matt not been able to touch the ground for like a good 10 seconds there. And even when he does, he just gets grabbed and immediately down throw back air. Ooh, Matt's able to get back though. I thought I thought Snake Eyes was going for a down air attempt there. Well, Matt gets back, but all right, he's on the other leg now. All right, he's, he's back on the ground. That's good. You want to be back on the ground. You don't want to be being juggled by Palutena because that's definitely not a place you want to be. Gets back here, though. Not, not able to put on a lot of damage so far. Snake Eyes doing a good job at keeping Matt in disadvantage. Just being able to keep putting on damage on him and putting him in a situation he doesn't want to be in. And the last hitbox of that dash attack hits as Matt dropped his shield. It's crazy how long that dash attack stays out for. I didn't realize how long it was out there. Back throw. Matt's able to stay alive. All right, he's, ooh, threw out the bike, but gets caught by the Nair and unable to get back. All right, just comes down with the fair and then the immediate dash attack. All right, that's that's how it starts. You need to start putting on this damage, and Matt's now starting to keep Snake Eyes at the ledge. Once again, get, reading the roll and just dash attacking him, saying, I'm going to keep you here, and the, the fair. Snake Eyes is not able to get off this ledge right now. Another fair. All right, he, he committed a little too hard, and Snake Eyes was able to just uh, get back on stage there. But not really able to regain control. He's back off stage now. Matt going a little too low. All right. The Nair, the last hitbox hits. hits. The random up smash there. Trying to catch the jump there. anti Aaron. Ooh. Up smash is the wrong way. Matt unable to successfully punish. All right. The explosive flame once again. Preventing a, a direct horizontal recovery. But the roll up smash off of ledge. Good job from Matt there. Being able to catch Snake Eyes. Sleeping at the ledge. All right. And here we go. Starting to lay on this damage. All right, the up tilt doesn't get a second one. So this game has been played a lot at the ledge. Uh, both players doing a great job. Once they get their opponent at the ledge, not letting that opponent off of it. And uh, that's what you have to do. You have to just keep putting them in a situation they don't want to be in. And that's how you win the game. It's not about knowing your combos. It's about control. You need to be able to control the stage against your opponent. You need to be able to control your actions. And that down tilt back here, once again, at the ledge, being able to control it. Snake Eyes doing a good job at that. Gets them there. All right, the grab, the fair. Starting to lay on this damage. Yer. Um, why are you here? Are you commentating with me now? Are you live? Yeah, I can't hear you in my headset. Ooh, gets the up smash. Gets, gets that last little bit. Sorry, I'm talking to Funk right now. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, gets grabbed. All right. Waited for the tech option. Tried to punish with up air. Matt's able to just shield it. Matt needs to start laying on this damage. He needs to get rid of this stock real quick. Not even real quick. He just needs to be able to control the game for the rest of it. But gets grabbed, put off stage. Not where you want to be. Strong back throw Palutena has. Ooh. All right. Get up attack. Very smart. The explosive flame still not enough to take it. All right. That Nair, though. Yeah, that's going to take it. And we're going to go to a game three here. Matt's laughing. I'm not sure what he's laughing about. He just lost. Do you laugh when you lose, Funk? Nah, you don't. Because you lost. You, you, the bracket. All right. So we'll see what Matt does here. Once again, will he go back to his tri tried and true King K rule? Will he do that? I don't know. I don't know if he'll do it or not. Who knows? But, all right, sticking with the, and he's sticking with the Wario. Good on Matt. He's actually doing the thing we told him to do. And by we, I mean Hangman. Dad to Long Island at Genesis. 
excuse. But it, once again, if you're not watching Genesis Pools, or if you're watching this VOD of this random winner's round two at Aeon at Cross the Meta, greatest fighting game ambitious crossover since Street Fighter Cross Tekken, or Negan from The Walking Dead in Tekken 7. Welcome. Expect to hear me say Cross Tekken a lot, because that's all I can think of when everyone writes Aeon Cross the Meta. It's really funny to me. But anyway... Unsponsored Paper Matt versus Snake Eyes. Who I'm very upset doesn't play Incineroar. I'm finally glad I get to speak about this on stream. If you don't know Street Fighter competitive lore, there was a Zangief player, top Zangief American player named Snake Eyes. I'm very disappointed he does not know who Snake Eyes is. I asked him a month ago. And no, he does not have an Incineroar, which makes me very upset. But anyway, his Palutena kind of schnasty though, so I can't really complain. Alright. Ooh, gets caught by the explosive from trying to bike randomly. Also, we're on Unova. Interesting twist from Matt. Trying to get the fair. Ooh, dash attack. That's going to take it. Good job from Matt. Alright. The Nair start. Alright, off stage. Going for the up smash. A little too early on it. But better to just maintain control. Ooh. Barely misses the explosive flame. Ooh, the up air. Putting him off stage. That's not where you want to be. Trying to get the read on the roll. Matt just jumps up to the platform instead and is able to punish the forward smash. Good job on him, but he's got grab back thrown. Still not quite enough to do it. Even with the small blast zones. Alright, the forward tilt trying to punish Matt's jump in. Well, however, Matt holds back on it. Ooh, throws out the forward smash, but Snake Eyes able to dodge it. The Nair, that, still not able to do it. Jeez. And 170 paper Matt is. And the back air, though, that's definitely going to do it. Very strong move. Very good move, too. Alright, gets the dash attack. The up tilt, the up air, the first up air. Not able to get a second one at all. Dash attack. Trying to apply pressure as Snake Eyes texts on the platform. A Nair, an up air, drag down, doesn't get any follow up, but Matt just runs off the platform and gets up aired again. Alright, Snake Eyes able to is starting to apply pressure with these aerials. Ooh, random F smash on the shield. Not able to catch Snake Eyes, dropping shield. Able to get out of that situation by using the bike, also putting on some damage. Ooh, I'm not sure if the bike was in the way of what he was trying to do or not. But. Matt just destroys his bike, which is for the best. He needs that to get back on stage, but the dash attack still not quite enough from Palutena. But the back air definitely will be. All right. Matt's going to need to play some solid fundies. Ooh, the footstool to get out of that. Probably not intentional. If it was, I would be very proud of my child. Ooh. All right, goes high, but gets caught by the up airs. All right, only gets hit by one, though. Throws the bike. All right, the bike is destroyed. He's now able to use it to recover again. Gets grabbed, back throw, put off stage. Doesn't want to be here. Gets above the up smash, very smart. He does have the waft online, but he needs to get this first stock away first, or he might just have to let it rip and just try to play fundamentals for the entire next stock. Could have gotten punished there by got back throw but didn't and then just randomly catches him with an up smash anti-air down throw back air Ooh, yeah that's gonna take it and snake eyes win good stuff from both players very good that was a fun set